Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1903 sixpence piece from the reign of Edward VII. We will start with the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here is the reverse design and it is the work of Jean-Baptiste Malen. We can see here a crown to the top, below this is the words sixpence in capitals giving us the denomination or value of the coin when used in change. And then surrounding this design we can see a wreath here made of two branches. To the left is a branch of a Scots pine with the beads and leaves there. And then to the right is a branch of oak leaf with acorns and oak leaves there as well. These are then tied together at the bottom with a knot or a ribbon. And this is above the date of the coin, 1903, the year the coin was struck, as I say, in the reign of Edward VII. Around the rim we can see little teeth, milling or beads, and these are all there to prevent the coin from being clipped. Clipping is where someone shaves off or clips some of the coin and steals the silver content, therefore keeping the content of the silver for themselves, and therefore devaluing the coin, this being of course illegal to do. Now then we will move on to the obverse of the coin where we can see here a portrait of King Edward VII. This is his only portrait and it was done by George William de Sules. The initials are there below his neck, DLS for de Sules of George William de Sules the engraver. Around him we can see the legend and it reads Edwardus, Seven, Digra, Brit, Om, Rex, Fit, Death, in Dimp. This is in abbreviated Latin and translates to, to English, Edward VII, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons, Defender of the Faith, and Emperor of India. These are his titles as monarch, and also referring to the divine right of kings, how he's been chosen by God to rule the kingdom and the empire overseas. We can see he has a right-facing bust, with no crown or no laureate, and again milling or teeth or beading around the rim to prevent clipping. So there's the design, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 1903 sixpence. A coin minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver. This is 92.5% pure silver, or known as sterling silver, and was a standard composition for all silver coins before 1920, when they were debased down to 50%. The weight of the coin was standardised in 1816, during the reign of George III, to 2.83 grams, with the diameter standardised the same year at 19 millimetres. So a small coin, one of the smaller coins you'd use back in the day in your change. A mintage for this coin of 5,410,096. This is a fairly average mintage. There are many coins with mintages much higher and many with much lower. So an average mintage for this coin. A sixpence piece is of course worth six pence. This is then half of a shilling or one fortieth of a pound. So there are 40 sixpences to the pound sterling under the pre-decimal system. And back in 1903 when the coin was made, a sixpence piece was equal to £3.89 today. So quite a few things could be bought for sixpence back then, a few pounds worth of stuff today, but back then only costing sixpence. The coin was then demonetised in 1980 after serving as a two and a half pence piece for a short while after decimalisation. Now then, we'll move on to the value of this coin today for collectors looking to purchase one. So in poor condition it will sell for around £5, in fine condition around £12, extremely fine £65 and £135 in uncirculated grade. So a very vast range of prices there, all dependent on the condition of the coin, with the more worn coins being very affordable if you're looking to purchase one. And as well, please do comment down below if you do have one, as as you can see it is a lovely coin with great history and a great design on both sides. So there we go, please do subscribe to the channel if you've learned something new and enjoyed this video, and of course thank you for watching to the very end, that is much appreciated, and we will see you again soon for some more coins in the future, on Bits and Bobs, bye!